it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Ever since I did my little fully edible watermelon ice cream bowls, I've been wanting to do something else with watermelon, but what? So today I'm going to show you guys how to make super simple no bag watermelon choc dipped Oreos. Watermelon Oreos, chocolate, there's a whole lot going on here, but they're really simple. The things you'll need to make your watermelon Oreos. I'm using an Oreo mold, so if you're going to do dipped Oreos, this is by far and away the easiest and the best way to get a good result but you can also use just a regular muffin tin with no muffin liner in it. I've got a circle cutter and a toothpick and my circle cutter is just about the same size as the bottom of my mold. Not a must, it's just gonna help us neaten things up. My Oreos of course, and then I've got miniature chocolate chips and I've got melted either chocolate or candy melts in white, green, and then bright, vibrant pink. A little paintbrush and a snap seal bag. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set just a small teaspoon of the pink in the center of each of our little Oreo sections just the center you want to make sure you leave about this much around the edges because that's kind of going to make the the rind of our watermelon perfect once your pink's done you want to take your white now and you're just going to add just a small amount of that green into the white to make like a really really pale green that should just about do it perfect that's what we're looking for so you want there to be quite a nice contrast in between the really light green and that really dark green for our watermelon skin so now I'm going to take my paintbrush and just dip it in and it's quite a flat sort of a paintbrush. Essentially I'm just going to do a little kind of a squiggled line going up all the way around my little Oreos. This is going to make like the little kind of pattern or the stripes on the watermelon skin. You want like seven or eight of those just around each of your little Oreo molds, kind of evenly spaced apart. Once you're finished and you know that that's all of the Oreos that you want to make, you can actually put that green back into the darker green and it will just all get absorbed so that you've got more to work with to coat your Oreos. I'm going to put those into the fridge just for a couple of minutes to allow that pink to set and then we're going to be ready to start stuffing them full of Oreo goodness. Whenever I'm doing Oreos like this, I like to use a snap seal bag to put the chocolate in because I just find that it helps me get it a little bit neater. It stops me from overfilling them. It's just more precise. So I'm going to snip off a pretty generous little tip off the end there and with my Oreos at the ready, I'm going to squeeze in around the top section and just a teeny tiny bit over that pink and then in goes an Oreo, pressing it down nice and firmly. I'm just going to do two at a time. I'm going to come in with that snap seal bag and make sure that I'm applying a bit of pressure. It also helps to force that chocolate right down into the Oreo mold. Generous amount on top. Once they're all full, I'm going to give them a couple of good hard taps on the bench. And that can sometimes make your Oreos kind of come back up to the top again. So I'm just gonna use my spatula just to push them down. Make sure everybody's snug in their little space. And because I want really nice neat backs on them, I'm just gonna use my spatula and just scrape along the top. Straight into my waiting bowl. Perfect, another good tap. And they're off into the fridge. Coming back from the fridge and you should be able to see all of your little watermelon Oreos inside their little house. So you just wanna pop them out. They should be really nice and well set. And out comes our almost completed teeny tiny little watermelon Oreos. Now I've got that circle cutter so that you can actually neaten them off without having to handle them too much by just coming around the outside and just cutting. It just helps you to sort of get rid of any little overlap that may have been around from where the offset spatula kind of edged over the edges a little bit. The last step is, and remelt them if you need to, just taking a little bit more of your remaining pink candy melts and affixing our little tiny mini choc chips. Now I like to do this with a bit of precision just because I think it really pays off. I put like five or six and I tried to make them sort of symmetrical but not too perfect. So we're done. We've got our gorgeous little watermelon choc dipped Oreos. I love these guys. They're so simple to make, they're no bake and they're perfect if like me, you're kind of a little obsessed with watermelons and pineapples. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. Make sure you check out my channel, My Cupcake Addiction, if you haven't already. Subscribe for two new videos every week. And as always, thanks very much for watching.